All right, same town, brand new video. Uh, Wabash Avenue. All right, here's uh, State Street. Pretty little flowers on the wall. That's an unusual looking building. If you like skyscrapers, here you go. Get a load of them. Dearborn Street. There's one under construction, my goodness. Clark Street. LaSalle or LaSalle Street Bridge. A ton of these ferries running up and down the road out of the river. We're in the Chicago River, I guess. Yep, this is it. It's a Chicago Merchandise Mart. Of course, we have this taxi back here about to run over us. Had to go. He's working for a living. There's the uh, Chicago Merchandise Mart right there. Uh, Chicago Sun Times right there. While Sam, our son, was living in Chicago, he co-authored the book. He wrote most of it, but uh, called Plans of Chicago. I think that's the name of it. I hope he doesn't get mad at me if it's not. But anyway. It's a de it details the layout of this city, which is very interesting. It's like a, a very interesting, almost like a textbook. Well, it is a textbook. And off Street Bridge, and right up, right up here is uh, Washington Boulevard. I'm just gonna call out the bridges as long as they put the names on. The whole river I had to get out of the way. A little kayak expedition getting ready to happen. Made them wave. Madison Street, Rose Street. This little pontoon boat's giving us a time. Going a little too slow, but anyway, we'll make it. We got a little excitement back here. Well, these girls are drunk, I think, and they don't know what in the world they're doing. They can't get out of the middle of the river, and that tug is just that ferry just blowing at them. But they'll make it, I guess. I hope so. There's Adam Street right back there. Street right there, and there's the mighty Sears Tower right there. Right there. I'm gonna quit reading these uh, city, uh, these bridge names because I think I'm about to run out of labels. But you know, it's pretty neat. If you like skyscrapers? It's a place for you in New York City. I think we're about to clear the area. I just did these little snippets to show as much as I could. But that's an interesting-looking building. A lot of balconies on it, and one last view of the mighty Sears Tower and whatever that is right in front of it. An alleyway shot, one of the last I'm gonna do. I don't know what that bridge name didn't label it. Pretty well does it. That's uh getting out of the mainstream. Hello! Here's a scan of Chicago. Very impressive city. Clean, pretty, nice. All right, we're headed south to the Illinois River. Jenny just said to remind her to ask Sam who the person is on the top of that building. He'll know. Here's the only bridge we had any concern with, and that's the Amtrak bridge, and it's open, thank goodness. I hope we can skeet under it before it closes, but uh, otherwise you have to call them up, and wait on them. Amtrak bridge. Right well, here. by Chicago, we're, this is so typical. We were glad to get here two days ago. Now we're glad to leave. Get on down into the heartland, going down the Chicago River to the Illinois River and work our way to the Mississippi River. We'll spend the night in Juliet tonight on the wall. Another freebie. Good deal. Give you some bad blurb. Here's the railroad bridge. This is the one we have to be concerned with. We'll have to call them, see what we can do. All right, I called the doc, uh, the lift master, a few minutes ago on the phone. He wouldn't answer the radio. and He said, I got a freight liner coming through. There'll be about 10 minutes. So that was about five minutes ago, and there's a freight liner. So. When he lifts that bridge, it's an unusual bridge, old, big counterweights up there, big concrete counterweights. I'll uh, shoot that when he's lifting it. He's lifting it right now. We're good to go. See those big counterweights coming down. Anyway, so much for that. Here's a little more geography. We're uh, about 25 miles out of Chicago, and this is where the Calumet Channel 
which goes into Lake Michigan intersects the Chicago River. There's quite a bit of barge traffic through here loading up gravel or whatever, but a little interesting footnote. I don't know if you can read this sign or not, but this says danger, electric fish barriers, high risk of electric shock, no swimming, diving, fishing, or mooring. We're about 30 miles south of uh, Chicago, and this is an effort to, uh, they're electrifying the water through here to control the carp. They're trying to keep the carp out of uh, Lake Michigan and the Great Lakes. And uh, that, that's what we're in right now. It warns you about don't get in the water. You gotta wear a life jacket, etc. So it's kind of interesting. Just I thought. that quick, we're out of the shock zone. About It was about probably 500 yards long and had big transformers on the wall back there. right there and they're zapping the water right there. Port Lock in Lockport, uh, Illinois, about 30 miles south of Chicago. He just led a barge through here ahead of us that had eight, a tug with eight barges on it. He, he jammed this thing full as a tick. This great big lock and you don't want to get in here with a big old load like that. So number one he didn't offer, number two I wouldn't have come in. But anyway, here we go. We'll be in Lockport in an hour or so. Maybe, no, a couple, 20 minutes, whatever. He's going to let us down about 35, 40 We're going to do this, but this is pretty interesting. We're in Joliet, uh, Illinois. And uh, there's, there's green growth on the water, but it's flowing at a steady pace. We'll be out of here tomorrow, but this drawbridge just opened. This is an old industrial town. And, uh, and the Blues Brothers, wasn't one of them just released from Joliet? But anyway, that's where we are. All right, here's why the bridge behind us is opening. This barge is coming, he's going towards Chicago. And we're tied up at the wall right here. This is he's pushing a barge, this big tug. Sorry, I'm still plugged in. I'm charging this iPad. It takes all day. But anyway, that's what this is about. I'm curious to see what kind of, how far he slings me up on the wall. So I'll let you know. I know I'm going to get dissed for this, but there's a drawbridge coming down on the Chicago River in Joliet, Illinois. There's a Harris Casino. And there's a Harris Casino. We go over there and drop a couple hundred bucks. We're going down a lock. What lock is this? Brandon Road Lock. Brandon Road Lock, just out of Joliet. Looks like something from a space movie. This moss is all over the place here. He's letting us down about 30 feet. And we're going to, uh, I just want to see this moss. It's kind of scary. Maybe we could make it into some kind of a shake. I, I don't know if I told you a while ago, but this is uh, Labor Day, September the 2nd. Headed to uh, Ottawa, which is a different Ottawa, of course, but about 40 miles, 45 miles down the pipe. Good morning, September the 3rd. We're in uh, Ottawa, Illinois hooked up here at the free dock with power. This guy right here, we kind of teamed up, we did team up with them, but they've traveled a little bit behind us and got here. We meet some interesting people. The, this, this fellow was the technical side of the Energizer Bunny. It was his creation, his baby. But anyway, we came down, the, we're in the uh, Illinois River, and we're going to Hennepin today. This is Ottawa. I've been accused of wanting to live under a bridge. Well, here I am at last. But I'm going to wrap this video up. This has got most of the Chicago blurb on it. We're going about 38 miles today, and that'll be it. Heading toward the Mississippi. Here's a little bit of, not excitement, but anyway, we're waiting on this lock. It's Starve Rock Lock. And we're tied up to this big round thing that holds... The barge is in place when they get there, and this guy certainly got priority. And he's going through. So I'm gonna watch you. I don't see how these guys do that, but that's what they do for a living. But he's got one, two. That's kind of a small setup there, but he'll stick it in this lock over here, and he's gonna ride down. And I think this maintenance barge over here is gonna ride with him. The, the uh, lock master called me a while ago and. Told me what was going to go on. He talked so fast I couldn't understand him. But they're going, 
lock through and drop him over there and then come back and get me, he said, which sounds nice to me. But I'm wrapping this video up. We're going to stop it and uh, spend the night in Hennepin tonight.